All right, I was struggling to make sure that my chain gap adjustment was set properly on this bike because they say to do this under SAG, and I only have one person and uh, two little toddlers, and getting them to read this is gonna be a little bit different. So anyhow, I decided I need to have a second hand. So here it is, my second hand, it's a strap. I let all the air pressure out of the body, and then I set my ring here to the amount of SAG necessary for this particular bike. And then with the air out of there, I just tighten the strap. And by tightening that strap, it's going to allow this to actually wrench its way up there. So I can keep tightening that until I finally reach where I need to. A little bit harder when I only have one hand and another filming here, but we're gonna get it. Okay. So there we go. I've got the sag ring set there for the amount of sag on the bike. And then back here, now I can use my chain gap adjustment tool, set that in the right spot, rotate this down. And I have this on the largest gear and my chain is on the second largest gear. And then I'm gonna look at this to see how things are aligned. If they're not aligned properly, then I can use my the adjustment screw, which is right here. And in this case, I just want to move it until everything is aligned properly. I'm going to be tightening this to move it out. And it is so close, but that's it. 